Okay, let's jump in straight away with numbers. So we're going to press a plus button at the top because we're going to create a blank template. What's unique about numbers is it gives us a blank canvas to start with. All we need to do is just click on the top button of the table and delete it. And then what we have is a really nice thing that we can personalize. So we've now got a unique blank canvas and this is going to be the background of our to-do list. Really here it's just about having fun. So we're going to look at all the different things that we can do with our to-do list. First, we can click on the button at the top and as you can see here, we can add in some text. Click on the paintbrush at the top and then we can start to style it how we want it. So we can use the text button to change the font, the size, uh, the color, loads of different things. So once we've got an idea of what we want, we can change the font size, we can also put a board around it. So don't forget to look for those three dots as well. They'll help us just add a few extra bits that make it really uniquely ours. So you can see I've got our title here, to-do list. So now what I need to do is think about adding where I'm going to put the information into. At the top, we're going to click the table button. As you can see here, as I scroll and swipe through, we've got loads of different styles of what our table can look like. The bottom left gives us exactly what we want, one with some ticks already put in there. You can see down the first column, we've got the tick boxes. What we can also do is take out this title section. We don't want that for this. Click on it and click title down the bottom right. Hide the table title and then we've got exactly what we need to create our to-do list. Now I'm going to use the shapes again to just add a shape where I'm going to put lots of other information for my to-do list. And we're going to hide things using tables and add other bits in. But again, at the moment, this is just about making it what you want it to look like, what's aesthetically appealing for you to make sure you keep coming back to get those to-do lists done. Again, we can use the paintbrush button to change the style and we can change colors, we can change gradients, we can add borders, we can add shadows. We can really make it look really nice for us when we're coming back here. So again, once we've got all this changed, click all the buttons, see what you want to make different. And then what we want to do is we might want to add in some pictures. So the far right button at the top, the one that looks like a little picture, click on that and add some pictures here. Now I'm going to do some magic stuff with these plants later on. So I'm going to put those in as a bit of a picture to get me going of what's to come. Now with the table, we might want to be adding columns. Again, all we need to do is click the letter at the top. So the column letter at the top, go down to the bottom right and then add column after, or you can add column before. You can see lots of other things there that we're going to again use later on. When you click on the column, you can add either more columns just using the button at the top right, or you can change the sizing. Again, have a play around with it, see what you can do. But this allows us just to get going on what we need the, for the basics of that table to get our to-do list going. Come back tomorrow and we'll start looking at adding in a date. Thanks for taking the time to listen all about how to make our to-do list. Please do keep following for more information on how to use numbers.